Hey everybody, welcome back to British Place Kids. Today I have an awesome treat for all of you. I'm here at Florida's Wildest, and I'm gonna meet all of their pets. I can't wait to see all of their pets. I heard they have some snakes. Let's go! <laughs> Hi! Hello. We're so glad you guys are here. Hello. That's Clover. We have a lot of animals that we're going to show you guys today, so come, come on, on in! in. Alright, so this is our olive python, and this is the biggest snake that we have, and these guys are native to Australia. She's about 11 feet long. How tall are you? Four Four feet, huh? So basically she could eat you, right? You wanna try to you wanna try to touch her? Sure. You want to, yeah? Alright, so back up a little bit. I'm gonna pull her out. And we're gonna see. So I'm gonna hold the dangerous end. She's pretty nice, but just in case, I'm gonna keep her over here. And I want you to just grab a hold of just that end. Look at that, huh? Is that pretty cool? <laughs> and she's on the move. Okay. <laughs> so you see, she's real long and real strong. And uh, she prefers to be in there. She gets kind of scared sometimes when she comes out. But see how big she is now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? What does the snake eat and how often? So we feed her, we do frozen thawed rats, so they're not alive. And uh, she'll eat about once a week. Could she eat like a, like a rabbit or anything? Or? Oh yeah, yeah, she could eat the dog. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she can eat the dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take her. Hello, you know, it's a good turn. <laughs> Are you on the menu? Are you on <laughs> for dinner? <laughs> so this is TikTok, the ball python, and she's actually famous. The most famous animal we have. Somebody dumped her at a park. They didn't want her anymore. And when we found her, she had over 300 ticks on her really big ticks all over her neck and then every single scale had like a tiny little tick. So you can still see the scars on her her neck over there. That's from the ticks biting her. That's why her name is TikTok. <laughs> but she's really friendly. If you want, you can hold her like that. She's the sweetest snake ever. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? Do you like her? You want a snake that big? You want to sneak this way? Yeah. Adopted him from a parrot rescue Sorry. about a year and a half ago. <laughs> a year and a half 
ago, and uh, yeah, he's a really sweet boy. Do you want to hold him? <laughs> he's a little shy. So we run an animal rescue, so a lot of the animals that you're going to see today, um, we're just kind of like rehabbing and, and getting them healthy enough for adoption. So this is an animal we just caught yesterday. It's a prairie dog that somebody actually dumped outside, and the poor guy was just living outside for a few months. So that's him right over there. Hi, buddy. His name is Harvey. So this is our little fish tank we have. We've got a bunch of community fish in here, and we also have a crawfish. Where is he? He's really funny. Oh, there's a little shrimp right there, too. See it? Oh, yeah, I do. So the fish might pick at that, but that's really for the crawfish. So he'll come running out pretty quickly here. He's big. Oh, look at the tiny oh. shrimp compared to him. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking his little legs. <laughs> Zazu. Come here. Good. <laughs> so that's Zazu. He's a Vonder Deccans Hornbill. We actually raised him. Not all the birds are rescued except Zazu. Um, so we got him when he was three months old and we had the honor of raising him. That's why he's so friendly with people. If you want to put your arm out, he'll hop right on you and I'll give him a worm. There you go. Oh, a live worm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So these guys are omnivores. so disgusting. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. They'll eat lizards, worms. We've had them find, like, find a few geckos in the house and eat those. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to feed him? Capri? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Dave, you want to do it? I'll feed him, yeah. That's it. Oh, Capri, you should do it. Did you see what that did? Yeah. Put your arm out. Nice and strong. There you go. And I just keep his mouth full. <laughs> Elmo. So that's Elmo. He's our eclectus parrot. Elmo. He's a rescue. So the story we were told is that he was attacked by a hawk. Better to have PTSD than PDD. Right. You got somebody behind you. <laughs> That's Rachel, and we are actually fostering her for for another rescue. So we're even trying to work with her. And then Sweet Pea is underneath her. <laughs> That's our parrot lead. That's Chloe. Huh? Cockatoos love you, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, we've only had her for about six months. They locked her in a garage for three oh, no. years, so her back is like a plucked chicken. Oh, no. Like if you open her wings. When we first got her, she was gray from smoke. Yeah, Aww. it's pretty bad. We don't see her plucking, but I just don't think it's gonna grow back at this point. She's pretty friendly. She gets in moods where she attacks the phone, and then sometimes, like if you go to pet her, it, it's weird. But most of the time, she's friendly. So this is Fiona. She came to us two months ago with severe mouth rot and like a horrible uh, abscess behind her other eye. So we actually had to get her surgery to remove the eye. So she had that a couple weeks ago. She's doing really well. She's eating for us. Um, but we get a lot of like critical care reptiles at the rescue and there's not a whole lot of resources. We're really the only people that will take them. So I know that looks a little scary, but it's actually healing amazing. And the vet is very proud of her progress but she had to have her whole eye removed and that's the abscess that he had to drain. So we're flushing it every day, but she's eating, she's doing well and eventually she'll be rehomed as well. So Rex, he came to us, same owner as uh, Fiona. So he came to the rescue. Uh, he wasn't eating on his own for months. He hangs out at the bottom of the cage a lot. So we've been doing antibiotics with him, just you know, doing a lot of specialized care with him. And he just started eating on his own two weeks ago, but he'll only eat outside for us. So we have to take him outside, put it in front of him, and then he'll eat. So if you want, we can go outside and, and you can try to feed him and we'll see if he eats. So he has eye issues. He has clogged tear ducts. They try to flush him and they just, so you'll see him readjusting his eyes and you'll see like, oh, you're hungry. You're trying to eat my nail, okay? But that's that's not a that's not a bug. <laughs> but as soon as you, uh, that's my eye. That's my eye. <laughs> I don't think he sees very well. How about a worm instead? Okay, hold, I know you're being eager. You're being very eager. How about this? That's much better for you. You want this? You want that? 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, good job. This is a panther chameleon. He is super cool yeah, looking. His beautiful. colors are amazing. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get it. Uh -huh. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> so obviously he's going to need specialized care for the rest of his life. So we don't know if we're going to keep him or try to find like a veterinary staff that can offer him the care he needs. But he needs to be hand fed. Probably one of the prettiest hand fed I've ever seen. What do I do? Just, yeah. Like that. He'll just hold on to your fingers. He'll get comfortable. Don't leave. Don't leave me. There you go. <laughs> Why is he so active with me? <laughs> Holy crap! If I stop offering, will he stop yeah, he leaving? Should, yeah, he He'll find a place. I'll grab another word. Are you sure? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'll help She's you leaving me. I'll help. Okay. You need help? No, I mean, she said that he's fine. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try. You gotta stick your tongue out. <laughs> he's being lazy. He wants me to put it in his mouth. I was gonna ask, like, can you just put it in his mouth? But I, that's teaches, what I was doing. It teaches him not to respond. Well, you, I've never seen a chameleon do this. They're normally supposed to use their tongue, but since she has so many issues, he's like, just... yeah. Okay, here. Petunia thinks you guys have there you go. <laughs> like For a while, he wouldn't use his tongue. He just started using his tongue a couple weeks ago. So it's a really big deal because this oh is an God. animal we didn't even know if he was gonna make it. So he's so cool. Yeah, he is. Um, she, you know the sunflower seeds work really well. <laughs> Good for you, nervous. <laughs> Out of all the animals, she's like excited about the snake, nervous about the pig. Yeah. Petunia's actually really friendly. <laughs> so she's just a wild hog and then... No, she's, she's definitely a, like a pot belly. Yeah, oh, okay. she's a Vietnamese pot belly that someone just dumped on the side of the road. Like as really? COVID was hitting. So we got her right before quarantine. And she was skin and bones, had a skin infection. Oh. Yeah, and she's 100 pounds now. Don't make her shoes dirty. She doesn't want dirt on her white <laughs> shoes. You want to flop? I rub your belly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> belly rubs. Oh, looks trimmed. We have to get our tusks trimmed. We have people come to the house to do that. She looks pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. she is. She's a good girl. Is she a permanent resident? Yes. We've had her for two and a half years. Oh, that's Fern. Is that a tortoise? Yeah, we have three redfoot tortoises in here. So uh, one of them was found in uh, Miami, the other one was found in Homestead, uh, and then kept by somebody. And then this one was actually um, driven down from Minnesota. The owner really wanted us to have them. So we drove like 30 hours so we could have them. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. So their shell is supposed to be nice and smooth. This is called pyramiding. All of this is pyramiding from just improper diet. And then her shell's also concave. So this is not normal. This is not what she's supposed to look like. And this, I don't know what happened here. But um, I don't know her story. Her beak is a little long too. But um, she was brought to the South Florida Wildlife Center and they were rehabbing her for a few months and then um, they brought her to us. So we're gonna keep her as a permanent resident. You wanna hold her as a leopard tortoise. This is actually supposed to be the second largest tortoise species in Africa under the sulcata, but we don't know how much bigger she's going to get since, you know. Yep. If you want, you could hold her like a hamburger too, <laughs> like that, <laughs> so you can look at her. She's sweet. This is Cinder. He's another rescue. Um, so we adopted him, but when he was a kitten, he was found as a stray and her, his eyes were so infected they couldn't be saved. So they had to remove his eyes. So he has no eyes, but he doesn't know he doesn't have eyes. He catches bugs out of the air. He knows exactly where everything is. He knows how to jump on the couch. It's pretty amazing. You wanna hold him? You wanna hold him like a baby? Okay. He'll just hang out with you. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. He's amazing. I had so much fun meeting all the animals today. My favorite one was maybe the snakes. Probably TikTok. You want to hold her? You want her around your neck? I'll hold her. Okay. <laughs> She'll hang out like a necklace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Florida's Wildest to learn how you can do better by animals. We need the tickles. <laughs> I'm Gabby. And I'm Chris, and together we run the channel Florida's Wildest. And if you want to check out more of our information, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, Florida's Wildest, and on Facebook too.